Hello uh, and welcome to the link, this LINK program graduate Q&A. I'm Dermot Comerford, I'm the Communications Executive for the LINK program. I'm joined here by Eliz Merlix, the Inclusion Coordinator for the Hideaway Outdoor uh, Play School. You're very welcome, Liz. Um, can you tell me a bit about your, your setting? Hi, Dermot. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. Um, I have opened the Hideaway Outdoor Play School last year. We are an outdoor-based setting and we offer a play-based child-led program uh, inspired by the Reggio Emilia approach for a school and garden classroom. Very good, yeah. Um, how did you hear about, about the LINK program? You completed the LINK program this year. So how did you hear about it and, and what motivated you to apply? Yes. Um, I am qualified as a special needs assistant, so I've always known that if I open a preschool, I will be welcoming children of all abilities. And I joined the LINK program because I wanted to be ready for children with additional needs. Uh, but I have to say, I got so much more. And um, the LINK program helped me to create a program that is welcoming all children, regardless of their abilities, dispositions or interests. Very good, very good. Um, so what was your favorite aspect of the program? It's hard to answer this question. So many favorite aspects. Um, I loved it that uh, it gave me a very strong theoretical background, but also very practical advice and tips. So after each module, I could just take the content and put it into practice immediately and see the results in real time. Um, I also loved it that you linked back to other services. I really enjoyed the videos, the actual practical examples by other, um, other settings, uh, both in Ireland and abroad. Um, so I could see exactly how to implement everything that I've learned during the LINK program. I had so many questions when I opened my preschool. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted the program to be inclusive, uh, child-led, play-based, but I had so many questions as to how to do it, uh, such as um, how to um, set up our daily read to support all the children, how should we do snack time, um, what kind of materials should we, should we provide, and the LINK program just answered all my questions. Literally, I had the, the questions, and as I started uh, participating in each module, I, I got my answers, and I could use them immediately, and I, I saw the results in the children, literally within the first months of me starting. Oh, that's great. Wow. Um, thank you very much for that. Very, very complimentary uh, remarks there, um, Eliz. Um, the link will be link program will be completely online this year. Um, what supports did you find helpful um, during the online aspect of the course in the previous year you, you completed it? Yeah, um, I found the online content very, very manageable, very accessible. And the reason um, it, uh, I didn't find it a disadvantage that it, a majority of it was online because you had such a, such a balanced combination of uh, recorded uh, slides, but also links to videos, links to interviews, and links to other practices. So it felt a little bit like I had a teacher sitting next to me, guiding me, and because I could take everything I've learned and put it into practice immediately. It was not the remote learning you would get from must online programs. Very good. OK, great. So uh, the, the program is currently open for applications. Um, why would you recommend it to other early childhood teachers? It, it really transformed um, me as an educator, it transformed my setting, increased the level of engagement from children and families. Um, yeah, I think everybody should do it. I mean, we are so <laughs> we are so lucky. Our national curriculum, uh, Ashter, is child-led and play-based, and we all have a chance to 
implement it in its truest sense to really follow the child and to make our setting about the child and to make it as inclusive as possible of all the children, all families and our community. Um, and the link course really teaches us how to do it in the most practical sense. It's, it's not just the theory that we all know already. It's, it's how to make it happen in very practical terms from how to help children to get dressed to how to facilitate free play um, how to make sure learning is available and available for all children without overwhelming them. So many people worry that play-based education means children just play and they're left of the, on, on, uh, left, left um, um, just, just to run around without any visible learning, but it's not true. And the LEAN program helped me to put a, a primarily free play-based program in place where I can, I can demonstrate that the children are learning and developing in all domains and they're reaching all their learning goals as per, as per Ashtar and Shilta. Great, great. Listen, Eliz, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. We really appreciate it. You're so very welcome. Thank you very much for having me.